Hi, this is Robin Heppel from FuneralFuturesWebsites.com and we're continuing our series of videos on customizing your website with widgets. In this video, we're going to focus on the obituary page widgets. The first widget that I recommend is the obituary subscription and this will allow people to sign up to receive daily updates of any new obits. This is a must for your obituary page, but you can also include this widget throughout your website. The next widget is the obituary search widget. This search feature will search for the names inside your complete obituary archive and it will not search other pages or other posts outside of the obituary section. The next widget is the obituary listing widget and this is just a listing of the most recent obituaries on your website. It can have as many names as you want. Some people have 10 names, some people have up to 80 names on the obituary page. And then as a new obituary is added, then one comes off of the bottom. So it's always kept up to date. Another widget that you should consider is the obituary guidelines widget. Now this guide is highly searched and it's a great resource to your client families as it serves as a checklist for them who are writing their own obituaries. Especially making sure that they get your website name in the obituary and that special phrase Condolences for the family may be offered at www.yourfuneralchapel.com. You also may want to consider the Doug Manning Grief Video Series. This is a service that uh, we have struck up with uh, Insight Books, and as a Funeral Futurist website client, you'll get preferred pricing on this grief video series. So just let me know that you're interested, and if you are, we'll get you subscribed to that and what we'll do is we'll embed all the videos into your website plus create the widget that goes into the sidebar and this can go onto the obituary page and also onto the obituary post. Plus, it will be a featured page throughout your entire site. Now since your obituary page is going to be one of the most visited pages on your website and even some of our clients it's more visited than the actual home page of the website I think it's okay, as long as it's tastefully done, to include some pre-planning advertising. So again, I stress not to have this on the individual obituary post, but on the obituary page, it's okay to drop a subtle hint about pre-planning. Also for the obituary page sidebar, you could consider putting a banner ad or a promotional ad there where you promote other services like flowers, but also your e-commerce store, uh, keepsakes and mementos, even pet services, etc. You can also add the QR code widget to the obituary page, and this QR code can be placed on any page on the, of the website, and visitors just scan the code into their smartphone and save it for future viewing. So for the obituary page, they may uh, bookmark it so that they can just always check your obituary page on their smartphone. So the next step for Funeral Futurist website clients is to complete the checklist for the obituary page sidebar. Just order the items in the order that you want them to appear, and if you don't want an item to appear, just delete it from the list, and if you have a special request, just add it. Please note the purpose of this exercise is to get the initial setup of widgets on your site. If you don't have something ready yet, like scan testimonials, don't let that hold you up. They can be added easily at a later date. Thank you for choosing the Funeral Futurist website platform for your funeral home website. We look forward to getting your site up and running as soon as possible so that you can enjoy the benefits right away. This is Robin Heppel.